Oh, that is bright. I am bright like a diamond. <sighs> I don't think that's the word. Yeah, shine bright like a diamond. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you notice, I am in a different location. There's probably going to be a lot of noise here and like I can't control it. That's because I'm in Angola. I'm visiting my parents for Christmas. And yeah, my windows have to be open because there's no good lighting. So there might be some noise from outside people. But I'm coming at you guys with a react. So this time I'm going to be reacting to Wonder Woman. So right off the bat, I have to admit, when the first Wonder Woman came out, I had no interest in watching it whatsoever because there was a lot of debate between Captain Marvel and Wonder Woman and I am a hardcore Marvel fan. And when Wonder Woman came out, you know, before it, my sister insisted that we go watch it and I only went because, you know, Chris Pine, my husband, have to go watch Chris Pine. I mean, hello. Right, so when I went to see it, I was actually really happily surprised. It was actually a really good movie and I came out liking it a lot. Except for the part where, spoiler alert, you know, somebody dies. It's not a spoiler. Somebody dies. I'd like to think I'm no longer biased towards it because I like the first movie and I still like Captain Marvel as well. But a lot of people voted Wonder Woman as better than Captain Marvel. But I think I'm in that gray area where it's like, you know, they're both female inspired, female strong independent woman inspired, you know. It's just not, we don't have to pick sides. To like put women against each other, who are you going to stop doing that? I, I agree with that. Because I was very much taking a side in the beginning before I saw Wonder Woman. And then I saw Captain Marvel. And my first reaction wasn't to pin them against each other. It was just like, wow, amazing movies. Okay, let's just watch. My life hasn't been what you probably think it has. One woman, 1984. We all have our struggles. Have you ever been in love? Hey, long, long time it's the actress from, not actress. Well, yeah, actress, comedian. Yeah. All the time. And I'm purchasing so many other things now, y'all. 1994. Is that disco? Welcome to the uh, future. Oh, Stranger Things time. Stranger Things time. Why shouldn't it be? Are those heels? Like which heel happening? Think about finally having everything you always What's happening? Wanted. I can save today. You can save the world. Stay. No. No. I take what I want in return. No. There's no way he's alive. Everyone will see. He died in a bomb crash, plane, explosion thing. What? That was some excellent level things with the guy. That was excellent level. I'm so confused. How is he alive? I you. you know you need to do. Is he dying slowly? Oh, oh, oh! We bring the little Amazon queens up in here? I stand. Nothing good is born from lies. She in the White House at some point too? This is not here? what you think. Damn. This is going to be intense. This is going to be crazy intense and I love it. <laughs> I love Chris Pine. That's the first thing I say after the trip is over. I love Chris Pine. Oh god. That looked amazing. Oh my god. I don't know where to start. Okay, so obviously Chris Pine came back from the dead somehow. Yes, I'm gonna keep calling him Chris Pine even though his name is like Steve or something in the movie. But he's always gonna be Chris Pine to me. So yeah, that's what's happening. 
So obviously Chris came back from the dead somehow. That's obvious from the fact that he looked at a trash can as art and then she had to tell him that was a trash can. She's obviously showing him around, like he doesn't know what's happening in the world. And it's very much, it looks like a Steve Rogers thing's happening here, where like he was frozen and he came back from the dead, or somebody brought him back from the, from the dead for her, but they're gonna use him against, use him against her somehow. I don't know. I just know there's something wrong with him coming back. Yeah, because there's no way she tried to bring him back, right? Yeah, there's no way of that. The way he's dressed, why is he dressed so weirdly? Am I the only one that noticed that he looked like he was wearing some weird things? Like the family pack and the tracksuit, I just, it looked weird. Like he didn't know how to dress for the times, or they just put him in any random thing and then they're like, let's go. Yeah, but anyway, at some point it looks like she's in the White House, it looks like she's fighting against the military. I'm not really sure who the threat is here. Maybe I wasn't paying attention properly, but like, yeah, I was kind of focused on her outfits and like what was happening and stuff. Could be the chick from SNL. I hate to call her the chick from SNL because like she's an actress and she's amazing and she's funny and she's a comedian and she's all around amazing. I just don't know the actress's name. But yeah, it could be the actress from SNL. It could be that other guy that we saw. I can't. I don't even know who the thread is. I just know that it looks amazing and she looks amazing and. It seems very exciting, and it has kind of a strange things vibe to it, you know, with the mall and stuff, you know, with the mall from season three. You guys know what I'm talking about if you've seen strange things. Yeah, overall, it looks great, and I'm excited for it, and I'm here for it, and I stand. I just completely stand. I'm excited for it to come. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like the video, please like it down below. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time with another video.